Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing just a little get ready with me and I'm going to be doing a voiceover today because I was just getting ready and I thought I would film it for you guys instead of talking through it because then it would take me forever. A really simple neutral eye and I've really put a lot of emphasis emphasis I put a lot of emphasis on my eyelashes putting some nice big falsies on so that I could just have really simple neutral tones neutral tone lip and just sort of like a golden kind of look face for all of you that are going into spring and summer it is a very easy eye look and I just wanted to make it pop with some lashes because I didn't want to do like a real smoky eye look or anything like that I feel like the lashes sometimes just are enough. I wore a look similar to this in my haul and a lot of you said that you liked it so I thought I would film it even though it's really just nothing at all. Um, so I hope you guys like this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you like these more neutral toned looks. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already and let's just get straight into the video. So my skin is looking real good at the moment but I'm starting with using my Super Stay Primer from Maybelline and I'm applying that over my entire face as you can clearly tell. And then I'm going on to foundation and I'm going to use good old MAC Studio Fix Fluid, one of my favorites in NC30. P.S. excuse my nails in this video, trying to get them healthy after acrylics is very hard. Anyways, I'm applying this pretty dark color over my entire very white face, just because I have a very tan neck and I've got fake tan on the rest of my body, so I try and make it all match, obviously. And then I'm just using this Sigma Flat Foundation Kabuki Brush, I think it is, just to blend it down my neck and make it all look nice and blended. And then I just blended out the rest of my face using my Damp Beauty Blender, as always. And this one is so dirty, I need a new one of these ASAP. I'm using the Tarte Creaseless Concealer in Light Sand. And oh my god, this is like my favorite, new favorite concealer. I die, I use this every day. And I'm just using it to highlight under my brow and then also creating an eye base. Just using this Coastal Sense brush and then blending it in with my Sigma Contour brush, as you can tell. Then I'm just setting my eyelid just to make it a nice base using MAC Light Plus. Then onto the Modern Renaissance palette, I am going to use this burnt orange shadow and applying the color using this Coastal Sense blending brush, patting the color in the outer corner and then across the lid and then into the crease and trying to make the color nice and even and smooth as you can see a very diffused color and just really trying to build that color up as well. I then went and grabbed the Coastal Sense crease brush and I applied that in the crease and it's just a crease blending brush. Just trying to define that crease a little more and as you can see making the colour a bit darker. Then I'm using one of my favourites, this really nice pretty light shimmery gold shade called Primavera and this flat Sigma brush and I'm patting that as you can see from the inner corner and along my entire eyelid just over where I've already put the colour and applying it right up into the crease. For mascara, I'm using Lights Camera Lashes Mascara from Tarte, as you can see. And then I'm going back in and using Old Faithful Becca Champagne Pop and highlighting my brow bone using this little pointed brush that I have. Then I wanted to make my eyes pop a little more, so I'm going to use the EXO Beauty Lashes called Soulmate. I just wanted to add a little drama. You obviously don't need to do this, but I just was feeling a bit blur today. Then I just covered the lash line and I used my Tartiste liquid liner to cover up my lash line and cover up the glue. For concealer, I'm just using the same concealer as I used before and the Coastal Scents brush. And as you can see, I'm bringing it all the way up towards the top of my nose on the side and then also down around the bottom of my nose and under my eyes, creating that usual kind of weird triangle, slanted triangle, and blending it in with my damp beauty blender and then I'm also going along as you can see on my forehead creating that usual upwards down triangle I guess and then down the bridge of my nose before blending that in again with my damp beauty blender then I am going to set those areas using matte like plus and my Sigma small contour brush just in the same places that I just applied the concealer then for the rest of my face, I'm using Old Faithful MAC Medium Golden and this H&M Powder Brush and just patting the product all over the rest of my face as you can see down my neck and around 
pretty much everywhere else. I didn't want to drag the product, hence why I'm doing the patting motion. Then I find my eyes tend to crease a little bit with concealer on a regular basis, although this Tarte concealer is so much better. But I'm still going to use my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder and just applying that under my eyes and then also on my forehead and nose as I tend to get a little oily there. I did a quick nose contour using the Hoola bronzer and this small flat brush today just because I wasn't feeling that good about my nose and I thought it might help a little bit. For lips I got Bow and Arrow Liquid Lip from Kat Von D and I haven't tried it before and I was so excited and you guys know I love a neutral brown nude tone and I really quite like this one. It's kind of different to any other one that I have. And then once I have finished that, I go and went and blended my nose contour out. After I've blended that out, I'm removing my powder, as you can see, and using MAC Light Plus under my eyes just to lighten it up a little bit. Then I am contouring again my cheekbones this time, just in some more detail with my Benefit Haul Up Bronzer and the brush that this set that I got came with. For some added colour, I'm using MAC Give Me Sun. I find it a little bit orange, but I just have to use like not very much product at all. And I'm applying that on my cheeks, around my temple, and then also on my forehead as well. Then I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Royal. And I must say, I really like these blushes that I got. They're not super strong in colour, but I do really like it. Nice and subtle. But I didn't really like this brush that actually came in the blush set that I got. I don't know. I might be using it wrong, but it was way too long. And then I'm about to run out of one of my favourite MAC Mineralize lip lipsticks in pure pout so I'm just applying it with this small brush just to add a little bit of gloss to my lip and then I'm applying the burnt orange shadow using my Morphe bullet crease brush to my lower lash line before applying the primavera gold color to my inner corner just to brighten it up and then to brighten my eyes up even more I'm using Rimmel in the nude liner in my waterline for highlighter I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics salted caramel highlighter and I tried to use that brush again and I just really didn't like it. it didn't work well at all although I do like that highlighter then I went over the top of that using Becca champagne pop and then I went back to my fan brush applying that on my cheekbones down my nose and a little bit on my chin then I just sprayed my face just to make it nice and set and not all powdery or cakey and just really wanted to look nice and natural and glowy with MAC fix plus And here, but this is the finished look of the day, obviously, as you would have seen at the start of the video. Hope you guys liked it. Just a neutral, nothing too exciting look, but you know, just another look using the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and really two shades of that palette. So I hope you guys like it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Um, and let me know what you would like to see next in the comments below. As usual, it always helps me. So yeah, I will hopefully see you all very, very soon. Bye guys. Yes. You are beautiful, Tiny.